It is the big day. It's been building up to this through all the qualifying tournaments around the world, through the group stages here, the knockout stages that have led to this final. It's a wonderful occasion. It's from the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow, and it's live. This is the big day, the biggest day in world football, the World Cup final. It only comes around once every four years, and the prize is to be the top country in the world game. It's a brilliant setting, the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow, and we're lucky to be here, we being myself, Martin Tyler, and Alan Smith. Yeah, we certainly are lucky. You think back to previous finals, they've not all been absolute entertainment, but I think this one will given the two sets of strikers on show. It's not to say, I think there'll be goals out there. And we pause now for the national anthems. Portugal with uh, a wonderful football history, of course. We did win the Euros in 2016, we've talked about that. I remember 1966 when they pushed England all the way in England for the World Cup and actually finished third. Had a fantastic campaign led by Eusebio. Yeah, he was a huge name, wasn't he, in Portugal football. And if Ronaldo's a hero now, he was just as big a star back then. Check on the Belgium starting 11. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Vincent Company starts with Toby Alderweireld as the centre backs. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Axel Witzel in the centre of the pitch. Aidan Azar starts together with Romelu Lukaku. Thank you. Enjoy the this game. is the Portugal team for today. Rui Patricio starts in goal. Pepe starts with Jose Font in central defence. João Moutinho plays with Adrian Silva in central midfield. And they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. The world is watching. The 21st World Cup final is underway in Moscow. Well, this is a mouth-watering prospect, and I'm sure the players down there feel the same. Probing. Ronaldo. Oh, it's the post! Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Now, Jean-Marie. Ricardo Pereira. Good vision to be able to switch the play there. Juan Moutinho. Adrian Silva. Juan Mario. Goal! It's the first goal in the 2018 World Cup final. Well, what a moment for the lad, and what a good finish it was. And there was a gap to the keeper's left, and he found that with real power. Another angle on it here. Real pleasure for Portugal, they've got this lead. Axel Witzel. Here's Mertens. Andre Silva. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. He might be through. And it's in! That was one of those special moments you don't often see. Shoot, 
shoot is his philosophy, and it pays off time and time again. I couldn't believe it when he took on this strike, Martin, but he's connected with it beautifully, giving the keeper no chance. It was a strike of real power, and he got his reward for it. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Hazard. Neatly intercepted. But it is amazing that these two teams. Bernardo Silva! Keeper goes with a fist here. Well, just to. Go back to what we were about to say about this fight. He's got his shot off now. It's a fine stop. A full stretch from the keeper to turn that aside. Corner given. Put the corner in the middle. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Romelu Lukaku. Good challenge. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. Yes, he went over on his ankle, but we all know what he's like. There's no way that that's going to force him off. In with a chance. Hit deep to the far post, to Ronaldo. With Mertens. Romelu Lukaku. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. He's coming forward with some danger. Ronaldo puts it into the middle. Now Dries Mertens. It towards Hazard. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Now Bernardo Silva, here's Adrian Silva, just a period of keeping the ball for the team that are winning the match. Out for a throw and uh, over the touchline. Kevin De Bruyne, able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. It's Bernardo Silva. Andre Silva! That's a brilliant goal. Well, he's point blank range. But you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. Came close to goalkeeper, actually did get a touch on it. But I think it was a pretty good effort to do that much. Well beaten, really. Yeah, I don't think you can blame the keeper, Martin. He's looking at his defenders. Why was the lad given so much space? You don't often see this, such a one-sided first half. They never really got going, the opposition. And they're surely out of the contest almost before it began. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. And Ronaldo, and the attack coming. The break is definitely on. Shots on here. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. And now Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. And that's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here at half-time. Big game with big pressures on the players, but they've responded well, haven't they? They're in front at half-time. Yeah, but the danger, as always, when you are so close to glory is that uh, you get a little nervous. 
They've got to avoid that in the second half. Well, the players started in the second half of the World Cup final and Portugal with a lead to preserve if they can. Well, they are almost within touching distance of fame and glory here, the Portuguese players, and sometimes that can do strange things to you as a player. We'll see in the next 45 minutes. Lukaku. I like the look of this attack. Challenges for the ball. Here's Font. Being closed down here. Well, defending from the front, and now they've got a chance. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. How do you think uh, Cristiano Ronaldo did in the first half, Alan? I will be happy with that first 45 minutes. And a goal! And that's easy for Courtois. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Defenders worried now. Ronaldo threads it through. Bernardo Silva wants to chip the goalkeeper. And that's a brilliant goal, well taken. Well, sometimes you see the ball hit harder than that, but it's ended up as a goal. Keeper thought he'd come out, right place at right time to make the save, had no chance. He didn't, and he wasn't all that far off his point, but he was far enough off for the goal scorer to take advantage. Wonderful take. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Ronaldo Silva. On to Ronaldo, into the attacking third. It's Bernardo Silva guiding it through. Ronaldo, steered in very classily. Scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Let's have another peek at that goal. now takes his leave of the game having had an impact on the game well you don't get too many players of this caliber these days who can play on the wing and track back as well he's got a good work ethic i don't think we expected this such a one-sided affair but look at the scoreline well, there's good progress with this attack he spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Karezma. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Well, that will mean a corner coming up now. We've got a substitution coming up, Alan, now, and it's, it's the midfield player who's going off. And in that part of the pitch, they've been second best. They have been. His teammates haven't helped, but he looked low on confidence, really. Um, couldn't get into the game, and it's a, it's a sensible decision by the manager. He's awarded the free kick. Guided on by his head, and they've got the ball still. Good forward play from them. Gets his cross in. Where's the marking here? And it's in the net for the goal. And it's a substitute who scored. He's uh, definitely come on to try and do that, and he's made his manager very pleased. 
Real attacking harmony between the two, the provider from the wide area and the goal scorer himself. Well, when you've got a player out on the flanks that can deliver a ball in that way, what a weapon it is. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Ronaldo on the ball, Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. Caresma. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Good defensive clearance there. Shots on here. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Ronaldo. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Well, I'll be honest with you, this last few minutes have dragged a little bit from where we're sitting because the game as a contest is long, long over. Uh, all credit to the team that's winning. Uh, I'm afraid not too much credit to the other side. And they get it away. That's a Chadley. He's taking a chance, but he's keeping the ball under some pressure. Well, here's an opportunity. Here's a chance. They score. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat trick. Well, there is a saying that uh, things come in threes. They've come in threes for him, a hat-trick. Not just three goals, but he's played really well. His overall game has been top class today. A very comfortable margin for victory. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Hazard. Jelson Martins. Going forward well. That could open them up. Got his shot off now. No goal, flag up. Well, that assistant there, he was certain the flag went up straight away. What did you make of it, Alan? Well, I thought he was onside, you know, but uh, he's gone through and tucked it away. But looking at the replay, yes, he had gone a bit early. Final whistle, they are the world champions. A day to remember in Moscow. They've come through the group stage, the round of 16, the quarter-final, the semi-final, and now they've seen off serious opposition here today. What a moment, Martin, for all these players out there. A moment they will see special. against their names in football history long after they've gone it will say world champion there's no higher accolade no and it's difficult to argue that they're not deserved winners in this competition to a man they gave it their all out there champions of the world the best feeling in the world they're on top of the world. There's a real togetherness amongst those players, and they've needed it at times. They've came through some sticky periods in this competition, but it was all worth it, wasn't it? Sharing it 
with the supporters and they'll know where their families are as well. Forever linked with Moscow, forever linked with Russia, forever linked with the FIFA World Cup. And they've needed those fans at times, they've stuck with them. And quite rightly, they acknowledge that support. They will not want this day to end, but they will get some souvenirs of it now as the photographers gather for these prime pictures of the winners of the FIFA World Cup 2018.